In this example, we want to analyze which of the equivalent solutions for a given system could have base of attraction. So this question is really asking is which of these equivalent solutions is asymptotically stable. So we need to find the solutions and then determine their stability using linearization to see what's going to happen here. So first you want to find them, which means I want both of these to be zero at the same time. So I want x plus y, x minus y plus 3 equals 0, and x minus 1, y minus 1 equals 0. So over here I get either x is 1 or y is 1. Over here, x equals minus y, or y equals x plus 3. So if I pair these two together, I get the point 1 minus 1. If I pair these two together, I get minus 1 and 1. If I pair these together, then I get 1, 4. And if I pair these together, I get minus 2 and 1. Now let's find the Jacobian matrix and see where that gets us. So fx, y, dx, dy, fx is x minus y plus 3 plus x plus y. Driven y gets me an x minus y plus 3 minus x minus y because the minus sign that comes out of here. And then gx is y minus 1, gy is x minus 1. So simplifying this out, we get 2x plus 3, 3 minus 2y, y minus 1, x minus 1. Okay, now we can plug in our four points. If I plug in 1 minus 1, I get 5, 5, minus 2, and 0. That's not super convenient, so let's look for the eigenvalues using the normal approach. 5 minus lambda, 0 minus lambda, plus 10. Lambda squared minus 5 lambda plus 10. This doesn't factor. The exact formula will tell us that lambda should be 5 plus or minus the square root of b squared is 25 minus 4ac is 40 over 2. These are complex with positive real part, so this equilibrium solution is unstable because it acts like a spiral source. So this is not a point where I could have a basin of attraction because it's not asymptotically stable. Our next point was minus 1 comma 1, so I end with 1, 3 minus 2 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, negative 1 minus 1 is minus 2. For this one I can tell right off the bat the eigenvalues are 1 and minus 2. That's a saddle, which is still unstable. That also is not the correct answer. Our next point is 1 comma 4. For this I get 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 minus 8 is minus 5, 4 minus 1 is 3, 1 minus 1 is 0. Back to our normal approach again. 5 minus lambda, 0 minus lambda, plus 15. Lambda squared minus 5 lambda, plus 15. Again, there's no factoring, but by the quadratic formula, lambda is 5 plus or minus square root of 25 minus 60 over 2. Again, complex with positive real part. So unstable, because it's acting like a spiral source. So it's not this one either. So it better be the last one. Let's see what we get for that one, which is minus two comma one, which would be minus four plus three is negative one. Three minus two is one. Y minus one is zero. X minus one will be a negative three. And now we're in good shape. The eigenvalues here are minus one and minus three. This is a nodal sink, so it is asymptotically stable. So this point, minus 2 comma 1, is the solution that will have a basin of attraction. And we can also see this by looking at a slope field for this system. So on this, we can see all of our equilibrium solutions. We had 1 comma minus 1 that acted like a spiral source, which is what this looks like around this point here. We also had 1 comma 4 that was also a spiral source which again is what it looks like around this point here. We had our minus one comma one point acted like a saddle, which also this looks like a saddle with the way it's set up in here. And then we had minus two comma one, 
which acted like a nodal sync, which is exactly what I see from the picture here. And based on this, we can also sort of guess at what the base of attraction is, looking at what arrows and so it's like they're going to funnel in towards that point. We're not too sure, but it looks like anything that sort of starts over in this region over here is going to sort of make its way around and in to the point down here. The same thing goes for anything over in this direction. Basically anything outside of this area for sure is going to make it. These ones over here, we're not sure. Are they going to keep going to the right forever or do they eventually loop back around and come over here we can't really tell we can make a guess that sort of points that are in the base of attraction are definitely things in this sort of window here everything over on this side is inside that basin because they all funnel in towards that solution that blue dot as time goes on that's the idea of how you can work out this sort of problem to figure out which equilibrium solutions can have basins of attraction as well as spot these things on an actual slope field for that problem and use it to figure out what the basin is, what it looks like, as well as in general where solutions are going as time goes on for these nonlinear systems.